All right, YouTube, I thought I'd show you a way that I found out to change a camper tire without a jack, because I don't need a jack. Basically, what I did was just get some 2 by I don't know, these are 2x10s maybe, and I didn't have another one, so I used this 2 by and just put them together. Uh, I just screwed them, and of course, I used a very minimum screw, that's why it's turning. But anyway, I bought these tires last, about two, three weeks ago, went down south to the beach. Within two or three weeks, that one there leaked out. I don't know if it ran over something, but we're going to get up off the ground and see what's going on with it. I'm going to back it up and put it under it. All right, so I backed it up. We're going to put this underneath here, and I'm going to pull it back up, boys. All right. All right, Austin. Now, you tell me when the tire gets on that right there, you tell me to stop, okay? Okay. All right. I'm going to plug this thing up like so. And then come around here. We're going to try to inflate the tire. Tried to inflate it yesterday with it not off the ground like it is now without it being jacked up. It doesn't work that way. Camper wastes too much. So there you go. That's pretty much off. It's not totally off the ground. I mean, you can't spin it, but it's off. You can change the tire if you had to. All right. Now we're going to put some air into this bad boy. Okay. Mastered it. 
think the reason why that may have, uh, I think uh, air may have leaked out. Uh, I checked this tire here, which is brand new. They only had uh, 25 pounds in it, which is ridiculous. It's supposed to have 65 pounds. So I drove about over 500 miles on them like that, which is, I mean, coming from the shop, tire shop, you figure that they'd put them in, but I guess more of the story is check your pressure yourself. Can't be, can't trust mechanics, tire techs, whatever. A truck right there. I take it to the, man, the dealership, got an oil change. They didn't put oil back in it, blew my truck up, got another one. So that just goes to show you, double check everybody's work. Don't take anybody's word for it. Catch you in the next one.